In this video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how you can import Figma designs into your Shopify stores in just three clicks. We are going to use a page builder and a plugin to import the design. You can literally copy the design from Figma and paste it on this page builder. And then I will also show you how to use it in your Shopify store. So let's not waste any time and get started. First of all, we need to download the instant page builder. On your Shopify dashboard, click on apps on the left and then search for Instant Page Builder. Next, you'll see this Instant Page Builder app. When you click on it, it will take you to the Shopify App Store. Now click on this Install button. Then again, click on this Install button to fully install this app on your store. Next, it will ask you to create an account. So click on this Sign Up option, and then enter your details, such as your name and email. Then click on Continue. Now you'll get a verification link into your email, that you just used to sign up for this page builder. You only need to open your email and then click on this blue button to verify your account. Next, it will get several questions on your screen. You can skip these questions, but I recommend that you answer them to get a more personalized experience. Here, click on this connect with Shopify button. Next, it will show you some pre-made page templates that you can use to design your Shopify store. For now, I will close this page as I don't want to use these templates. And this will take us to the Instant Page Builder, where we can actually design our entire store. Okay, now let's head over to Figma, where we have these designs that I want to import in my Shopify store. We only need to copy these frames and then paste them into the Instant Page Builder. So, right-click on this frame that you want to copy, then go to Plugins, then go to Manage Plugins. Here, search for Figma to Shopify, and you'll see this plugin here. When you click on it, you'll be able to copy this design. You only need to copy this frame, and then it will copy all the layers from this frame. Next, you need to head over to Instant Page Builder, and then simply paste your Figma design here. And within a few seconds, the entire design will be copied here. And as you can see, the entire design is successfully copied here. Now, when you click on it, you'll see the layers on the left side. On the right-hand side, you'll see the editing options, which will help you manage the look and feel of this layout. You can simply select any text from here and then replace it with your own content. That's how easy it is to design with this page builder. But wait, before you leave this video, there is another very important thing you need to keep in mind. You see, when we pasted this layout from Figma, we got this warning message that says that we aren't using Figma Auto Layout. Now, what does that mean? Well, to make full use of this page builder, you need to use Figma Auto Layout in your design as much as possible. Without that, you'll still be able to make some changes to your design, but your design won't be responsive for every device. For example, on the top, we have these preview options. And if I go to any other device for preview, you'll see that the design is not responsive at all. This is a big problem, but if you're using Auto Layout, this problem won't appear here. Now, if you don't know what auto layouts are or how to use them, then I will leave a link to this playlist. That'll teach you everything about auto layouts. For now, I will only show you how the design actually looks when you use auto layouts. So, I will delete this layout from this page, and then I will head over to Figma once again. And this time, I will use this design. To enable auto layout on this frame, you need to use these keywords. Okay, now we only need to copy this frame using the Instant plugin. And then I will go back to the Instant Page Builder and paste this design here. Now, if I go to the Preview section and then click on any other device for preview, you'll see that the layout is also changing accordingly. This is what happens when you use auto layouts with your design. Now you can change all these text and images if you want to, but there is a better option to do this. You see, we have just created this section here and we can use it on any part of our online store now. To do that, click on this Publish button on the top right. Once it's done, click on this Customize Theme button. This will take you to the Shopify Theme Editor. As you can see, we've already made an amazing layout for our store. On the left-hand side, you'll see a lot of options. You only need to scroll down a little and then click on this Add Section button. This will show you all the sections that are available on our store. Now, most of these sections are available in the Shopify theme by default. We simply need to go through this list and find the section that we just created using the Instant Page Builder. Most of the time, you'll find it at the end of this list. Once you find the section, 
you only need to click on it, and it will be added to your store homepage. And once you do this, you'll see some editing options on the left side. You can change these text on the left side, which will then reflect on this section. I've changed this button text, for example, and you can see that the text on the button has changed. This is how you can use it in your store. Now, once you made all your changes, make sure to hit the Save button to save all your changes. Also, make sure to preview this page on Mobile View to see if everything is working fine or not. As you can see, the Mobile Preview is also looking great, which means that this layout is working just fine on this Shopify store. So, this is how you can add any Figma design into your Shopify store with just a click of a button. Make sure to learn about auto layouts and try to use them as much as possible in your Figma designs. This will make the design process much easier. Also, if you want to learn more about this instant page builder, then I recommend you to watch this video next. This is a complete walkthrough video on this landing page builder. So make sure to check that out if you are interested in this page builder. If you have any questions or queries, then make sure to ask us in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.